YouTubers. This is not really a basic cooking lesson because I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna try something I bought at the store. You know why? Because at least 7,000 of you decided to tell me exactly how to make hard boiled or soft boiled eggs. And if one person says hot water, the other person says cold water, how the fuck am I supposed to believe either one of you? As seen on TV, this is a first. Let's see how it goes. Now one of the problems I always have with this shit is how the fuck am I gonna get into it? Well, that didn't work. Ah, oh, actually that kind of worked. <laughs> how cute. Egglet, I like the name. Squeezy. That was actually a little easier than I thought it would be, so I guess I can put my artillery away. So I brought a nutcracker, and I brought a snipper, and I had my pliers, and a flathead screwdriver, not Phillips, hammer that probably belonged to my grandfather, and I figured if all else failed, I could light that shit on fire. Zoom! I'm not so sure about this. It's a lot more trouble than just putting shit in the water. First, you have to thoroughly and evenly coat the inside with cooking spray or oil. Then you have to add an egg or an egg recipe and twist the lid on. Fill a pan with three or four inches of water and heat to a rolling boil. And then refer to pages 16 to 19 for cooking times. Remove carefully after cooking and place in cold water to cool eggs. To remove egg, run tip of spoon around inside of cup between the egg and the egglets to release. That's a lot of fucking work. That's not the video that I saw online. That is not the as seen on TV. It made it look so much more simple. You just put the egg in, plop. You pull it out, plop. It's done. Plop. Put it on your plate. Plop. Plop it in your mouth. Done. Fuck no, this is work. Mind you, this is not a sponsored video. Nobody paid me to review these things. I bought them on my own at the store. You have a few choices on how to oil these things up. You can pour the oil right in, slush it around, pour it out into the next one, or you can goop up your fingers, and I'm already gooped up from handling the jar, or use a paper towel. I I'm gonna go with method one and see how wrong that goes. Oh, this could go wrong at so many levels. There's a little pool of oil. Okay, so I poured out all the excess oil, and now I'm not sure whether the sides are gonna hold the oil or not. We'll find out. Shit's worse than suntan oil. Water's boiling, ready to go. Turn the gas down just a little. Your aim has to be super good. The recipe book that came with this shit says you can put other things in here. And I bought a few things at the market the other night. I could plop a couple things in there just for shits and giggles. We'll put two olives in this one. Down you go, down you go, down. Down, spinach, down. Oh, we'll add a mushroom too, what the fuck. I'll take this piece of yellow squash, break it up into smaller pieces, and one extra piece of spinach hanging out. Down you go, you guys, you'll meet Rod in a little bit. You guys, you'll meet Vince in a little bit. Uh, you're for me, and you're just plain. It's all just a grand experiment, kids. One of the things I noticed, I bet you can't see it, but there's a little teeny vent hole right here. In the past, I have put eggs in the microwave without any vent. Oh, fuck. I'll tell you one thing. I do like that there's a little outcropping here so that you can hold on to it while you turn it. So that's helpful for older hands. It seems like an awful lot of work just to make hard-boiled eggs. Although, where else could you make hard-boiled eggs with shit already boiled inside of it? So there's that. Come on over to the stove, let's see. Here goes number one, number two. Oh, they float! That's kind of cute, that floating shit. I like that, I dig that. I'll consult the manual as to how long these should cook because these are gonna be hard-boiled. You know what, inner tubers? Just for kicks, I'm gonna put these two eggs in the same pot of water and we'll see how much trouble I have getting them peeled. Egg number one, egg number two, down you go. Down to the bottom. So all of you fuckers who are vegans, who are now already upset because there are eggs in my video, I just do this shit for everybody. I'm an all opportunities cook. An equal opportunity cook, if you will. A no prejudice cook. I cook whatever the shit somebody wants to eat. We're at seven minutes on my watch right now. Should I check them? They are still floating. I think all is well. 12 minutes, inner tubers. They're still swimming back there. 
just another minute and a half. So what I'm doing right now is getting my ice water ready. You hang tight. This right here, inner tubers, is a little trick of stabilization because I don't have really strong hands. One. Two, three, four, naked egg, naked egg number two. So I like to find a place where it first opens up and then get it out. Clean as a baby's butt. If you don't have a really steady hand, you can get one of these quick little egg slicers. Bam, how cute is that? What do you think about those egg yolks? Maybe a little bit more done, huh? Shall we take these babies out of their jammies? I don't know. That's my squash one. How do you get them out? Oops. Uh-oh, not done. How do you get them out? Oh, no! minutes was clearly not enough. This is the one for Vince and it doesn't look like it's done either. Splurt. So this time I tried to invert. No. It's all stuck. And you saw me grease these things up. This is a big waste of ten dollars. That's all I'm saying right now. Here's the one for Rod with the olives. Olives and tomatoes. And he asked for ketchup and mustard, so I already put it on his plate. Let's see. Shall I try the invert method? Oh, maybe I could try to scoop it out. Maybe that'll make a difference. No, no, these are a big fucking fail. Now, to be fair, we have one more with no shit in it, remember? It came out pretty good, but who wants to make deviled eggs with that? $10 for four eggs, and they didn't work for shit. And I put them in the pan, and they came out okay. So that's it for the very first episode of As Seen on TV. This one's a big fuck no. I'm going to promise all my Patreon pals that I did not spend your hard-earned money on this shit. And all of the rest of you who would like to be one of my grandkids on the Patreon family, you just check that out. There's a link right up there. Tiny Sponsors got my back with the editing. If you are a creator, check them out. And if you're one of my fans, show them some love. And always remember, keep life exciting! And Granny loves you. People say I cuss too much But I